Always pressed for time. Uh, I got the first half dozen Santa Fe Queens tagged. They're in there. There are only two frames in the box. Uh, just two frames with bees on them. I, I left the queen in the roller cage for now. I'll come back after work and let the queen crawl out because I don't want her to get balled up right away. So we'll see how it goes. Hey, what's going on people? So welcome back. Uh, we just recently had Hurricane Nicole roll through. Uh, that went through on the east coast. Thankfully, uh, not a lot of damage happened down here. Uh, it's getting darker a lot sooner out. Uh, makes it a little more challenging to get my bee work done. Uh, I just started a new job as well, so everything is changing. Uh, nothing is the same, uh, but I'm still making progress, I think. Uh, I got some queens that emerged in my incubator. Uh, of course, with this hurricane that went through, we got dumped on with a lot of rain yesterday. Uh, I didn't really have the time to make up the mating nuke splits that I wanted to. So um, I got them in nursery frames right now in a queenless hive. And I got some more graphs that are still in my cell builder. So they should be capped by today. I want to take a peek at the grafting frame just to see how many splits I need to make up. Uh, today is Friday. Uh, it's the weekend. So I really need to get a lot of stuff done. Uh, and I just don't know how much of it I can get done uh, in the time that I have. So without me rambling, let's go check some bees. Here we are at home in my bee yard. This is my nucleus yard here. And uh, I guess what we're going to do first, uh, we're going to go ahead and check this nursery frame uh, right here. This is a queenless box. It only has about three frames of bees in it. Uh, and my nursery frame that I have my... Uh, virgin queens. I did give them a jar of syrup and uh, That syrup jar was about three quarters of the way full and they already drank it down all the way. So that's good I got a little uh, turkey feather here that works better than the bee brush. I think They did have a couple of frames of nectar in here so Let me just go ahead and get my nursery frame out You'll see it's useful, it's handy. And I got one dead queen, two dead queens. It happens, I mean, nothing's perfect. One, two, three, four. So I got five, five splits I need to make ASAP. One of the queens can be introduced right here into this colony. So I technically only need to make four splits. This is one. Cover it up. That prevents the sun from going on it. So, I mean, it is what it is. Nothing in beekeeping is ever perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and check my graphs. See how many uh, queen cells I got. These were grafted on Sunday. They should be capped by now. Again, I do 30 cups at a time. I don't expect perfection. So if I can get, you know, 10 or 12, I'll be happy. We got four high beetles on the lid. And I need to remake a new cell builder because the bees get old, so the younger bees are the ones that draw the better queen cells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 23 out of 30, that's a decent percentage. So that was all I really wanted to check. This is Friday night again. The sun's going down already. Losing daylight. I got some yard work to do. I got another bee yard, a mating yard. I can kind of prep up. Need mowed. So keep on tuning in, guys. Coming at you with more. Thanks for watching.